everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Mary with Mary Making Crafts and in today's video I'm going to show you my tips and tricks for how to use uh, diamond painting putty. So this putty right here is actually uh, a one from my shop. Uh, my Etsy shop is called Mary Making and More and there's a link down in the video for for the Etsy shop if you want to take a look. Um, I have all kinds of scented putties and some cover minders on there as well. Um, so I wanted to just, you know, show you guys how to use the uh, the putty because when you first get this home, it can be a little, a little daunting. So what you're going to need, obviously, is whatever pen you choose to diamond paint with and whatever multi-placer that you so choose. Uh, in today's case, I'm going to be using a seven placer and I'm going to be loading up my single placer as well. So... I'm gonna show you how to work with this. So you want your pen, your putty, and I like to have a little pair of tweezers on hand. This always comes in handy for me. So when you open up your putty, um, I have this packed between two pieces of release paper. So uh, I call my putty Merry Mud. So this is a blueberry pie scent. Um, and they're all different colors and shapes and sizes. And so this one is a pretty little marbled, blue. Now when it comes to loading your single placer, I think the easiest way to do that is honestly just to stab right into the putty. So zoom me in here and give you a closer view. You can stab right in and then I like to move my pen. Zoom me back up. I like to move my pen kind of in a nice circular motion like this to make sure I get that putty in there and you can see I've got putty loaded into my single placer. So in order to load the multi-placer, this putty is pretty thick. What you can do is you can do the same stabbing method just like that. You can press it in, you would wiggle back and forth like this, and you can wiggle left and right, and it will come out of there. However, for the plastic multi-placers, because these break so easily, if you have metal multi-placers, that's the way to go. Stab it right in there the same way I did uh, the single placer, and you're good to go. If you have metal multi-placers, however, you want to, my best recommendation is to pull off a piece of the putty and put it in here yourself, because these will snap and break if they get, if you have too much movement on them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull off I usually just kind of pull off a tiny corner. You don't need much at all. This is way more than I will need. Um, but what I like to do is get this kind of malleable and just kind of warm it up in my hands just a little bit. I'm just getting it, you know, a little softer. And then I like to kind of make mine into a little log. <laughs> um, if you have a shorter multi-placer, like a, a four-placer, just, you know, an even smaller log and I just pinch it so it's as flat as I can get it. See how I got my little my little worm there? And then I just kind of stick this ever so gently into my placer here. And I'm gonna press it in. And this is where, if you have acrylic nails like me, <laughs> that's really helpful. But another thing that you can do is I just kind of, see how it's kind of just lobbed on there right now? I always take the tips of my tweezers and then I just kind of go across and push in like that. See how I'm making little divots in it? I promise this will come out cleanly here in just a second. And it does take a few seconds to load, but once you're loaded, you're like locked and loaded for good. So I just kind of fold that in because I like to make sure that my putty, and the fun thing about this being colored too, is you can kind of see where that putty is sunk into the sides here. And it looks like I need a little more on this edge. So I can do that. I can make sure I can see that to stick it in there, right? So I am just kind of, once I get to this point, I usually just use my fingers to kind of fold it over. And then if you press down nice and hard, this is what I usually do. Press down nice and hard. And I can kind of make, I can kind of make putty here and cut it off because I don't want all that excess, right? Let's so push down nice and hard and pull toward this, the side. And then 
I'm getting all that excess off there. And you'll find too that you might have some excess later uh, that you need to pull off and that's fine. So you could either throw these little bits away or be like me and I just stick them right back on here. This is what I do. I stick it right back on there and then it's ready to use next time. So I'll just stick that release paper back on here. I stick my putty back in the bag. Sometimes I'll just leave the bag open while I'm working because it smells so nice. Um, but if you if you lift up this multi-placer to your nose, you will be able to smell this putty, just so you know. Um, it is not, it's not super weak. You should be able to smell it. So I am just evening this out and brushing it across and just making sure it's it's about as even as I can get. And I still have some little pieces I'm pulling off the side here. But then I'm gonna go ahead, I'll grab a tray and I'll grab some drills and I'll show you how, how nicely this picks up. Okay, so now I've got my drills nicely lined up in my Bella Art Nicole tray, little shameless plug, and this is a Butterfly Effect Wears pens. These are my two favorite, this is my favorite pen company and my favorite tray company. So you're in good hands here. Um, and now my favorite putty company. It's me, it's me, I'm, I'm the putty manufacturer. Okay, so anyway, I am going to show you first on the single placer how nicely the diamonds pick up. We've got a nice pick up there and hang on, wait for it, wait for it. The pop. The pop is ever so satisfying. Now, I am going to be totally honest. I don't love single placing with putty. For me, I feel like single placing with the glue dots is a much more satisfying and um, easy experience. Like I just, I do think it works better. Now, um, when you have putty like this, let me show you. In your single placers, it's always gonna spill out a little. So I have a little fallout here. You can either push it back in or what I do with the first part is go ahead and take that little tiny bit off. I know, that's just how it is. And I'm telling you, glue dots are the way to go for single placing. So if you are a diehard single placer, I honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I don't recommend the putty. However, if you're a multi-placer, putty is the way to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some drills with this putty. And um, while I'm at it, I'll show you my multi-placing tip, okay? So I got this, I got my tray here. Now when I'm holding my tray, I find that vertical multi-placing works best for me. Meaning I grab the drills from the side like this where they're upright and then I place them upright. Horizontal, this way, doesn't work as well for me as vertical. This is just easier for me to see. So when I'm picking up my multi-placing diamonds, I'm, this is usually what I'm doing. I come from the side and I grab my, my diamonds just like this from the side. So if you see, I actually have, let me show you from the side if I can get that in focus there. See the angle on there? That's how I pick up my diamonds. I think it's much easier. So I'll go ahead and place those. Oh no! That's how strong the putty is, y'all. No. <laughs> I need to put, see how this is loose in here? I need to put some washi tape. That was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Oh, so let me just show you my little trick. But anyway, let me show you really quick. Look how nice the putty is. You've got your little side divots. And it just picks up everything so nicely. I love it. So that's what that looks like. Um, let me show you my other little trick. I've got some washi here that matches my painting I'm working on. This is my other trick for those little pesky placers that are just a little too small for the pen. Grab a little tiny piece of washi and wrap it around your multi-placer. I love, I love that I lost my placer. I'm gonna keep that right in the video because it's kind of too funny. Anyway, so I wrapped that piece of washi there and then you should be able to stick this right back in and get a nice firm, firm hold. So we shouldn't have that issue anymore, but we'll check and make sure that doesn't happen. So again, I'm gonna grab my diamonds or my drills. I always grab them kind of from the side a little and then 
stick them right down. And I always, you know, use my single placer to kind of budge them and get them where I want them because they're never perfect. Once in a while, I can get a perfect placement, but it's pretty rare. And that is how you use the putty. So as I keep going here, obviously I'm gonna have some fallout in the sides because I tend to be, I tend to be a hard presser. We know this, we've discussed, right? So I'm gonna have a little fallout. And as I do, you know, obviously I don't have very much right now. There's just a tiny, tiny bit. But as you keep going, you'll get a little bit more and a little bit more. And uh, once I keep going with this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and keep going off camera here for just a second. And then once I need to, I will show you what I do with Fallout. See, I'm not a perfect multi-placer. I get things in a row. See, they're, they're kind of jagged, but that's, that's me being in a hurry. But anyway, you get the idea. This is what I always do when I'm on the edge. I can just grab as many as I need and put them on at one time. Anyway, so yeah, so this um, this putty will usually last me like pretty much the whole section, to be honest. Um, and when I do have that fallout though, uh, I just grab it like this. I put my finger here. I just kind of put it back in press it back in like that and go back to town. Let me shake my tray here, I put too many drills. Too many drills in. If you are trying to figure out how to shake your tray, by the way, this is how I do mine. Shake it, just a nice gentle lean. And then you can see there's kind of, see how the drills will kind of shake back and forth in the line? I always shake mine over to the left because I'm right-handed. And then when I pick up my drills, I can press against that line and then they're all nicely lined up. Whoops, I just knocked one off of there. But you see what I'm saying, right? Like if I can, if I press this way toward that line, toward the line in the tray, I can get them all nicely lined up on my, on my multi-placer. So that is another way that I like to make sure my drills are lined up. So again, from the side, I'll show you a little closer up. From the side, if you grab your diamonds and press against the line, so I'm kind of, I'm pushing down, but then I'm pushing to the left as well. And see how they're nice and perfectly, perfectly lined up except for that, that little straggler. But they're nice and perfectly lined up on my multi-placer and now I can just set them down. And I don't have to do any adjustments. So. One thing I will also show you is when you have some fallout like that, because putty always falls out, it is going to get on your canvas ever so slightly. Um, if you have tweezers, you can pick it up and get it off your canvas um, for the most part. But I typically, um, you know, when you're using rounds, it's a little tougher because you can see the canvas behind it, which is another reason I like to do squares. But you just want to take care, whoops, sorry about the laundry. I'll leave that in there too. But you just want to take care that you don't have too much excess. So if you end up with a bunch of excess on the sides, just scrape it off like that, like pull it and take it off so you don't end up getting that putty all over your canvas all the time. Um, so that is one thing about, you know, that, that sideways method, you just want to be careful. And then um, right there, actually, I just did something without even like paying attention to what I was doing. I'm just kind of multi-placing and giving you my tips and tricks as I go. But um, I just like put some down and there was a tiny little excess bit of putty. Just grab your putty and go like that on it and it'll pick up if there's any fallout from the putty. But that's pretty rare. It doesn't happen often. But yeah, that's it, y'all. Those are my tips and tricks. That is how to use the putty. And if you have any more questions, feel free to let me know, y'all. I'm always here, uh, and I'm happy to help whenever I can. Anyway, there we have it. So if you have any more questions or you have some other tips and tricks that you use that I maybe not, you know, haven't mentioned because it's hard for one person to remember everything, right? But if you have some other tips and tricks that maybe I haven't mentioned, please feel free to let me know, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.
Bye. Okay, one last thing. Uh, you know, in typical Mary Making Crafts fashion, it's never really over when I say it's over. And I always think of other things I wanna make sure that I let you know. So I figured I would show you really quickly with some AB drills, how, uh, how the putty performs. So we've got our drills lined up. I'm just gonna show you, I'm still using the same putty I was using before. So here it is, still using it. Still have it in the single placer as well. And I finished this whole area up here. Um, and I just figured, oh, there's ABs in this section. Let me show you guys. So I am gonna be placing the ABs right here on this two, on the twos here. And I figured I'd just kind of, I just kind of show y'all. So for the single placing, it works beautifully. I'm trying not to get in the way of the camera, but for single placing, it works beautifully. You know, no residue or anything like that. Just trying to pick up very carefully and be mindful of how I am doing that. Um, so it works beautifully with the ABs for single placing. For multi-placing, um, you definitely don't want to use absolutely fresh new putty. And this is, this putty is still pretty fresh, y'all. So I'm going to stick this back in and I'm going to hope for the best. Sometimes it gets a little sticky. But if you press nice and gently, like... Don't do your hard pressing thing with the ABs because it just doesn't work. There we go. So just kind of wiggle it around and get to get that putty off of there. But um, I mean, does it stick? Yes, it works. So just nice and light touch. And it works beautifully with the ABs as well. I'm crazy, so I like to straighten mine perfectly right away. But you know, you get how it goes. So I'm gonna pick up, pick up four, do my little sideways push method. Boop. Done. And one last one. So I just thought I'd show you that it works really well with that too. Another thing I wanted to make sure that I um, mentioned is if it is warm in your climate. Right now it's the winter when I'm filming this, so it's it's not very warm right now, but. If it is warm in your climate when you get this and things are a little melty, you can always put this in the freezer for a little bit and, and get it uh, cooled down a bit. Another thing you can do too is if it just seems a little too stringy or too soft, you can leave it out and it'll dry out ever so slightly. You could leave this out all day, every day, and it would never dry out, like it doesn't dry out. The fragrance might be gone from it because that dissipates, right, over time, but um, but it will not dry out. You could leave it out forever um, and still use it. And I actually find that the ones that work sometimes the best are the ones that have been sitting out in the open for a while. Um, I actually have, these are two of my, um, Christmas scents that I just have like stuck here on a little thing. I had some extra from the batches I made and um, yeah, like these work really well because they've been sitting out for a long time and they still smell fantastic. So um, don't be afraid, you know, to let it sit out for a little bit. It won't hurt it. Um, I think I am finally done now. Uh, I just wanted to share, you know, that this works really well with the ABs as well. And you can see, I mean, I zoomed in really really well there's no residue on the drills nothing like that so yeah um i hope that you found this helpful and i really am going to leave now um if you're new to my channel i would love it if you would subscribe and hang out with me in my chaos and i will definitely see you in the next one now <laughs> bye